Sessions announcement that he will be recusing himself from Russia-related investigations, but Democrats insist that's not enough. I want to bring in Illinois Democrat Congressman Louis Hi. Gutierrez, Congressman, member of the Judiciary and the Intelligence Com uh, Committees as well. Uh, always good to have you, sir. Here was your tweet last night. Trump's people, they lie, they lie, they lie, and when you lie under oath, that's called perjury, and you go to jail. There was the tweet. It would seem as if there's no ambiguity there to you. You believe that Attorney General Sessions committed perjury. He did. Um, he can use a euphemism by saying his statements were, according to him, inaccurate. Uh, the fact is uh, that it, had it not been for the Washington Post uh, writing the story this week, he would have never uh, have revealed his meetings uh, with uh, the uh, Russian ambassador. And look, it is pretty much common knowledge in Washington, D.C., at least among the intelligence community, uh, that when you're talking to the ambassador uh, from Russia, you're talking to the KGB. You're talking to the intelligence apparatus He's a spy. of Russia. He's a spy. Well, I think I've been pretty clear with my definition uh, and my explanation. Um, everybody uh, knows who you're talking to when you speak to the ambassador. He's not just any ambassador. So I don't want the public uh, to be confused and think, oh, well, that what they deal is in diplomacy and let's all get along and, and trying to figure out a way to resolve conflicts. No. He's part of the intelligence apparatus, and he is there to disrupt uh, our economy. He is there to disrupt our democracy, and he is a threat uh, to the United States of America. And Senator you, Sessions knew what, what, who he was talking you're to. You're on the intelligence committee. Have you ever met with the, uh, with the ambassador? No, I was on the Intelligence Committee up until a month, two months ago. I never met with the ambassador. There was no reason. Look, on the Intelligence Committee, I would just like to say this about the Intelligence Committee. The Intelligence Committee can no longer truly conduct, I believe, uh, an effective investigation. Neither the Intelligence Committee of the Senate or the House of Representatives. And here's why we need him to recuse himself and to resign and use the special prosecutor statute what? to appoint a special prosecutor. And here's why. We know that both the chairman of the, House, uh, of the House Intelligence Committee and the chairman of the Senate were called by the White House, by Senator Donald Burr. Trump's You're White House. You're talking about Senator Burr from North Carolina. Sure. And, 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 and Nuna uh, from, from California. Right. They were called, and they both agreed to push back against stories uh, printed in the New York Times. So they're already being used. We know the same thing from the Justice Department, because the FBI is under uh, the uh, jurisdiction of the Attorney General. So if he recuses himself, the FBI, which is conducting, still has to report to him. Having said that, look, we all remember Ken Starr. Right? We may not have liked the results of the Ken Starr investigation, but the fact is that a special prosecutor is necessary in this instance. The laws are available, and I think that That's... the um, the attorney general should resign. His acting deputy should go immediately to the heads of the Senate and the leaders in the the leaders in the Senate of both the Republican and Democrat yeah. and come up with an independent uh, special prosecutor that's, so that we can get to the bottom of it. That's the first time I've ever heard a Democrat hold up Ken Starr as a model uh, for how we, he, as I said, how he we may not, as I said, we may not like it, right. but we know that that well, law but, exists. But Congressman, not to, I don't want to get into the weeds on this, but I mean, he started investigating Whitewater and ended up with, you and know. what and my and my point is we may not like it okay but in the end didn't a certain president of the United States lie to us when he said to the American public I don't know that woman and in the end he lost his law license look the fact is the statute exists right we should use the statute at this time because one of the things we have come to understand from Donald Trump and his administration is that they just do not like telling us the truth. They have been caught one time after another time being untruthful to the American public, here's, to the press, and all of us in general. Here's the question. I asked this uh, question of, of your colleague uh, Maxine Waters yesterday as well. Short of uh, news conferences, short of appearances on fantastic cable news programs like this one, uh, short of, of tweets, what, what are you and your Democratic brethren left to do other than scream and shout? Look, 
here's what we all need to do who have, how would I say, a clear propensity for the truth, for transparency, uh, for clarity, which this administration does not have, and that's to call for it, to call for it in every venue that we can. We have two options. Number one, we can sit on our hands and do absolutely nothing, or we can raise our voices, continue to investigate, and to work with members of the press and to work and to work with members of the, our uh, our legal community to get to the truth. That's what I am. Um, uh, that's what I am going to make a priority of is getting to the truth. I am happy that I'm on the judiciary care. I hope that the um, FBI director yeah. Comey comes before the Judiciary Committee, as he already has uh, before the intelligence community, and comes to speak. And please don't tell me that he can't come and speak to us. He already made, gave his opinion of his investigation of Hillary Clinton once when he said she didn't do anything. Then again when he said, oh, we have to investigate. And another time when he said, well, I guess she didn't do anything. Look. Come and tell us and be as forthright about your investigation right. of Donald Trump and his administration as you were of your investigation into Hillary Clinton. Congress I think I think we should have apples for apples. Congressman uh, Luis Gutierrez from Illinois. Congressman, always Thank enjoy you. it. Thank you, sir, for your time. Thank enjoy you. the weekend. We are awaiting.